then, so we have a brand new full length trailer for The Predator. If you haven't seen it, I will link it down below. But I will say this, guys, if you haven't seen it, it pretty much spoils most of the movie. There's some bits and pieces in it which are kind of a surprise, but for the most part, eh, it spoils quite a lot. And I'm, I've got to say, again, I'm not just going to start being negative, but Fox... Stop spoiling all your movies in your trailers. You've you've spoiled a lot of this movie, and it's a massive shame because there's a lot they could have kept a secret. But having said that, I do really like this trailer. Actually, it's really, really good. And I'm sure a lot of people who were put off by the first trailer and then rekindled some of their hype with the teaser, this will kind of get you, you hyped up again. So we open with what can be seen to be the underground lab where I'm guessing anyway part of the predators are being kept or maybe this is where the arc is being held that being said it's a nice shot it looks great it looks like it's in a disused quarry of some sort and we get sterling k brown's character speaking to olivia munn basically describing his job and what he does he's in acquisitions obviously it's play on he is acquiring predator technology from the skies above and obviously he works for alf which is the other world life form task force which is what we get in predator 2 it's a nice shot it's really really cool and actually if you take a look at his clothing he is in the background of this next shot which you can see it's really difficult to make out but it is him you can it's exactly the same clothing and it looks to be around the same area where the opening shot is kind of like a quarry-esque place but it's definitely him in the background. And then obviously we cut to that awesome shot of the Predator ship coming into land or crash anyway. And yeah, from there we get a nice bit of tension between Olivia Munn and Sterling K. Brown's character. Basically, what is on the ship? You know, you know what is on the ship, so on and so forth. Kind of building who this character is and what her involvement's going to be. It's a bit of a shame they have a heavy focus on Olivia Munn because her acting skills are not the best. But having said that... Moving on to the next shot, this is what confirms my earlier statement that it is Sterling K. Brown in the back of the previous shot because we see him and another military man scoping around through the forest and his pal gets ripped up by a predator. Interestingly then we get our first look at Boyd Holbrook. This is what we can presume to be New Mexico. Not overly sure what is going on here, whether he is with Sterling K. Brown's character because there's some other bits further through the trailer which make me believe that he is and then we get a great shot of the captured predator it's a nice shot the eyes are really really yellow and they do look a little bit boss eyed in this screenshot which i've got so it's a little bit annoying but it's again that cool conversation between the two people what went down in new mexico what did you see are you a threat and we get the ship or part of the ship anyway, and we can see Predator blood on the ships. Obviously, there's a wounded Predator, whether it's the captured or not. It is the captured. <laughs> and then we see Boyd Holbrook, or what looks to be Boyd Holbrook anyway, from what I can see. It, it looks a little bit off in this picture, but I believe it's Boyd Holbrook smelling the blood for whatever reason. No idea. And then we get the awesome shot of the predator mask which looks kind of like the one which we see later in the trailer and if it is then obviously he's fixed it by the looks of it but it's a nice mask it's really really cool and yeah the nice close-up shot of it it looks that they've done a good amount of practical effects for this film and into the next shot which i found interesting anyway this is the arc it's a predator ship it's what was released in some of the behind the scenes images which were basically leaked on instagram earlier in the well last year actually and it's cool i don't really get the deal with sterling k brown's why are you wearing sunglasses mate you know you're inside is the soundtrack i wear my sunglasses at night what what are you doing and then we get a feel for the crazies this is what these band of veterans are these are the ptsd ridden veterans again i still i'm going to reserve judgment but i still think that's a bit i don't know a bit tasteless but you get the feel for the comedic tone which there is heavy comedic tone throughout this film. Uh, I, you know, I've spoken to people who have seen the film uh, from test screenings, and this is part of that comedic tone. It's not bad by the looks of it from the trailer, but this is your first official, I guess, feel for that tone. Then we get the captured predator. We uh, get a close up of his hand. He's wriggling around, and the prosthetic work looks really, really good. The suits, they, they've got a good, good texture to them. They look good, but again, into the next shot. 
it, the face just looks a really, I don't know, a bit odd here, to be honest. His mandibles look a bit odd. Um, I'm not poo-pooing it. It's just picking up on it, basically. And that's all it is. This is the main predator that we've seen throughout all of this. This is the captured predator, which we see in the next shot, breaking free, wreaking havoc, smashing the place to pieces. And it's from here where they're testing on these uh, these predators where they know that they are hybridizing. So you get a real feel for what is going on. The captured predator has been captured, presumably from the ship that landed in New Mexico. And straight cut to him gearing up, loading up all of his predator gear. He's wearing the helmet now. We get that iconic flash of the eyes, which we've never seen before when they put on the mask. So it's nice to see, you know, that they're, they're adding that back into the cannon. But when they're putting on the mask, as opposed to just flashing the eyes, which we get in the original film, it's a nice throwback. The Again, the prosthetics look good. Studio ADI, I believe, did all of the suits for this, and they're very hit and miss. These suits look really, really good, so I'm not, you know, I am looking forward to it based on that. Again, nice close-up of the mask as he's choking Boyd Holbrook up against the wall. Again, this is the captured Predator. And if you note closely at the dreadlocks, they've changed the aesthetic of the dreadlocks. They actually look like hair now. Uh, there's more texture to them. They're not merely almost piping. They've added a little bit more to them. I don't think it's a bad design. I think they look good. The Predator mask on a whole, when you, it's up close like this, again, looks good. You can see some little red, almost jewel-like additions to the mask. It looks nice. It's not bad by any stretch. And then if you cut to this next scene, which I've thrown up here on the uh, the screen here, is you can see the little kid, Boyd Holbrook's son, having a Predator gauntlet. What are you doing? Why are you giving your son a Predator gauntlet? You are... Top Mark's father of the year. No, you're not. You suck. Take that uh, Take that predator, predator wrist gauntlet off your son. Not good. And then we get an awesome shot. This was what was in the NBA TV spot anyway. But this is the upgrade predator ripping the captured predator through the wall. No less. This is a 10 foot tall beast. And yeah, it looks good. It's nice to see it in HD. And again, another shot of this. There's actually one later down the line, which I'll show you in a second. But it looks good. The design looks good. Again, I'm a little bit dismayed by the use of CGI on this. But look, you can't get someone that's 10 foot tall. There, there isn't anyone. So I don't mind it. Uh, and it does look good. But again, bigger isn't necessarily always better. And I do feel that Fox may have fallen into that trope with this film. And that's a bit of a shame. But it's interesting. I, you know, I, I wait with bated breath to see how it plays out. And then we get a nice shot here. This is what I'm talking about. This shot here is of Boyd Holbrook. But he looks like he is wearing all of his camo from the start. Which if it is, then this is clever editing because he says light him up and everyone shoots. This is framed as if he is shooting at the upgrade predator, but he's not. Because if you look at his face, he is wearing camo on his face. But he's also wearing a wrist gauntlet. So I believe this is actually the start of the film as he stumbles across the predator ship. So it's clever editing, but it's nicely done. But I thought that would be a nice little Easter egg, I guess, to kind of point out to you guys. We get a cool shot of the captured Predator ripping through some doors. Again, note the mandibles. They they do look weird. I don't know why. They just look strange. But again, the prosthetics look great. The suits look awesome here. Then moving on, we get a great shot of the Predator ship. This is with Boyd Holbrook's son in it. I'm happy that they've cut some of this stuff from the film because from the script anyway, they, and again, this isn't a spoiler because it's not in the film, but they did have the son fly the ship as if he was in the uh, the flight of the navigator. That would have been stupid, Shane Black. I'm so glad you did not have that in the final cut of the film because that's bad. But anyway, moving on. This is the money shot. You saw it in the thumbnail. This is the upgrade. Look at this beast. Look at this monster. Again, bigger is not always better, but this looks badass. And I don't know how this is. I don't know what this is, whether it's a suit or not. It doesn't, it, it moves too quickly in the trailer to really tell what it is. But you can see he doesn't wear a mask. He doesn't wear a mask throughout the whole film at all, uh, or, or doesn't from the script anyway. He doesn't need to, because this is the heavily hybridized predator. This is the beast of all predators. And yeah, I mean, it looks good. You can see the red markings again, whether this is some form of tribal paint or not. It's difficult to tell because it runs through his shoulders, through his face, and it looks like it's almost skin pigmentation, but it's it almost looks like it is patterned as well. But it looks great. I, I think this looks fucking awesome. And then obviously we close with the Predator. So what did you guys think of this trailer? For me, 
I liked it. I liked it a lot, but again, they're just spoiling way too much. And Fox have a habit of doing this. They haven't done any marketing for this film. And now what, we're a couple months out? It releases in September, and then bang. They're, they're revealing essentially everything. And it's a real shame. It really, really is. So I'm a little bit dismayed by that. But on a whole, this trailer was absolutely awesome. It has excited me a little bit more for this film. I do have some more videos with regards to the Predator and the Predator scripts coming up very, very soon. In fact, one's releasing tomorrow. So please do hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And guys, if you enjoyed this, please do give it a big thumbs up and a share. If you learned anything new or I pointed something out to you from this trailer that you didn't notice, let me know in the comment section below. And if you do enjoy these kind of things, then let me know because obviously I will do more in the future with other trailers as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I've been Mr. H and I will catch you in the next video.